how can we remove a specific header from the HTTP response? For that, we can use a middleware. But first, let's see the scenario that we have. This is a brand new SP.NET Core Minimal APIs application with .NET 8. And we have installed output cache. So we have this in the program class. We are in the program class. We have output cache. And we also have use output cache middleware. And we also have this endpoint, this weather forecast endpoint. And we're using cache output to cache the response of this endpoint. Now, if we test this, if we press F5, we can use our HTTP file so that we can test this. So let's come here, send request. You can see that, of course, this gets activated. And now in the second time that we send request, we're going to get the response without activating the endpoint because we're serving this response from cache. But something that is added is a header that says H and in this case four. This is because this data that we have here has been in cache for four seconds. But what if you want to remove this H header from the response? You can do that by using a middleware. So let's do that. Let's come here. Let's go to the program class. Let's come here. Now that H header is put there by this middleware that we have here. So my middleware that is going to remove that header must be executed before this use output cache middleware. And therefore this is the perfect place to put my custom middleware. So I will say app use async context next semicolon here context response. I want to go to the HTTP contest and get the response. And I want to use an event called on starting. And with this on starting, I'm going to be able to intercept my application just before the headers will be sent to the client. So let me say here a state and let me put this Lambda expression here. And I need to pass the context as a parameter, the HTTP context that comes from here. So let me say here, bar HTTP context, because this is an object, I need to cast it to HTTP context. So HTTP context, and here I will say a state. Now I want to go to the response object. So HTTP context dot response headers, and then I will say remove, and I will remove the H header. And finally, I can return task completed task. And believe it or not, we're basically done. I just have to say await next invoke context. All right, that's actually it. We are good to go. Let's press shift F5 to stop running the application in debugging mode. Now let's press F5 one more time. And now we're going to repeat our test, but we're going to see that we're not going to have the H header anymore. So format it, send request. Of course, we're going to activate the breakpoint F5. Now the second time that we run this, we're not going to activate the breakpoint because we're serving this data from cache. Now, if we go to headers, we're going to see that now we don't have the H header anymore because we remove it by using our middleware that we have here. If you want to learn more about HP.NET Core, buy my Udemy course today. Link with a discount to all of my courses in the description of this video. Thank you.